Samsung has a couple of models when it comes to the S10 series. And the smallest one is called S10e. So let's see what we get when we buy one. When it comes to the screens, do we here have a 5.8 inch screen that has good colors and brightness. You don't have that screen that melts over the side, but that has never been one of my favorites, so it's almost like a plus here. It's not the biggest screen out there, but if you have smaller hands like me, so can this size on the phone be quite nice, as it fits well in your hand. With that smaller size, would you think that everything is easy to access? But that's not the case here. Here do we not have the fingerprint reader in the screen. Here do we have a fingerprint reader on the right side. And for me who is left-handed, is this not the best placement? I used to think that Sony placed their fingerprint reader badly. But here is it even worse. Here is it on the top right corner, so it's impossible to reach. Even with your right hand, so it's difficult to reach if you don't move the phone. But it's fast and also works as a power button. You can also turn on finger gestures here, so you can swipe to open and close the notification panel. And I must say, this works really good, so not everything is bad here, if you can reach it. To power the phone, so do we here have a 3100 milliamp battery? Yes, that's not the biggest battery out there today, but with a smaller screen and a Bluetooth 5.0, so do we here have things that drain less battery? So to power the phone, so do we here have enough for uh, our daily consumption? And if you would like to power your battery wirelessly, so do we here have fast wireless charging 2.0, so you faster can charge your battery. But that's not all. You also can share power with other devices, with power share. Then you just put your device on the back of the phone. Uh, like the Samsung Active Watch 2. It's not the fastest wireless charging, but it's nice to have when your device is running low on power. And if you'd like to see a review of the Active Watch 2 that is coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe. When we are watching videos on YouTube or play music, so do we here have stereo speakers that deliver a well-balanced sound? But that's not all. We also have a more or less extinguished port here, the 3.5mm AUX out port. So you still can use your old headphones here. There are mixed feelings about the Bixby button. Uh, some like it and some like it less. For me as Bixby not worked as good as Google Assistant, at least not yet, but they are working on it. But the cool thing now is that now can you change the Bixby button to open other programs. For instance if you use Twitter a lot, so can you set the button to open Twitter when you press it. You can also activate Bixby commands. But heck would it be interesting to hear what you think about the Bixby and the Bixby button. So uh, comment uh, below. When it comes to the camera, so do we here on the screen have that punch hole for the front camera? That is a 10 megapixel camera. On the back, so do we have one 12 megapixel camera and one 16 megapixel camera. So compared to the S10, so do we not have that zoom lens? But I don't use that zoom lens that often. The important thing here is to have a super wide angle lens. As some of you know, so is this my favorite lens, a must have on smartphones today. Samsung is known for having good cameras and here is not an exception. And the pictures are sharp and have good colors. Maybe can I feel that they are a little less sharp on the wide angle lens. Even when it comes to the selfie camera, so does this camera deliver quite good pictures? Something that impresses me is when we come to video, not just the quality, but the image stabilization. This is really good and probably one of the best out there today. Something that also impresses me is when we come to the software. It's fast and it's easy to access everything. So it's easy to understand why so many love Samsung when it comes to the camera. If we then take a look at the hardware, first we have a Snapdragon 855 and 6GB of RAM, and that's not too bad. We also have 128GB of internal storage. If we like, so can we also add 512GB with a micro SD card. So we also do we have a phone with good specifications. So yes, it's a pretty good phone, even if I wish that uh, that fingerprint reader was placed a little bit better. But other than that, so do we have a phone that is pretty good and have most things that you want? All from a great camera to wireless charging and IP68 water protection and so on. 
if we look at the price, so it's this $650 right now when I'm doing this video, but I uh, drop a link to updated prices below. Uh, so when you look at the price and what you get, so can this be a quite good deal? And if you like the video, so give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, go crazy, press everything down here. But I'll leave you with some uh, specifications here now. And with that said guys, it's time to say, overnight.